Fortnite appears to be the game that's never going to die, but as such, it's always going to have some reason to be in the news. Most recently, it's for the outcome of a lawsuit where the FTC fined Epic Games almost a quarter of a billion dollars. This due to the company allegedly letting children rack up unauthorized charges without parental involvement. Now, I will be reading some uh, quotes from this article here, so that will be linked in the description down below. So if you want to see my source, there it is. On March 14th, the order was finalized and Epic Game has to pay a fine due to the quote-unquote dark patterns that tricked players into making unintended game purchases. Reading a little bit deeper into it, it looks like Epic is accused of using intentionally difficult processes in order to purchase in-game content, thus costing the customer real money. They do this by having counterintuitive, inconsistent, and confusing button configurations in order to make these purchases, which can be confusing in some games. Almost every single video game that you play has some sort of an in-game store in which you can make purchases with real money, and... Almost in every single game, there is a little different variety for it. Some games will have a very clear confirmation screen, so you click, hey, I want this thing, it's going to go, okay, this is going to cost you this much of this in-game money, are you sure you want to proceed? Some games don't have that confirmation screen, so I can understand that a little bit in terms of some games do make it a little bit confusing to figure out if you're going to be purchasing this with one button click, multiple, and how exactly you're going about it. So that part of this I do understand, however, it's not an exclusively Epic Games and Fortnite problem. Literally any game with an in-game store can run into this same issue because there is no standardized way of having an in-game store. Of course, with in-game stores, you can point out the common things that every game does. However, they're not all going to be exactly the same. So while I understand this portion of it, it's not Epic Games exclusively that has this problem. The next part is probably what I'm assuming the bulk of the fine is for. Um, it is alleged that Epic Games made it very easy for children to make in-game purchases without parents' permission, um, and it retaliated against people who were disputing these charges by locking their accounts. So if a parent saw that their kid spent $1,000 on V-Bucks, uh, they might dispute that charge with their credit card company, lock their bank account, do something like that. Epic Games would lock the Fortnite account that was associated with that card because people were disputing these charges. And that is what I believe the bulk of that this lawsuit and this determination is coming from, is the fact that it's extremely easy for a kid to make a purchase on Fortnite using their parent's credit card, thus racking up an unwanted bill. So while the parent didn't authorize the card, it was already on file, the kid had easy access to do it, so the purchase is legitimate. However, the parent didn't say it was okay. From a legal perspective, I 100% understand why this is the outcome of the lawsuit. But in reality, I think it's entirely stupid that it came to this point to begin with. Because realistically, what this boils down to is, hey, Epic Games, you have to do a better job at parenting these children than the parents of these actual children. Because it shouldn't fall onto the game company to have all these verification steps in place for a payment method. Realistically, it should fall on that parent because in most scenarios, that payment card is on that profile because the parent allowed it for at least a one-time purchase. It should fall on the parents to figure out what they're doing after the fact. No matter what platform somebody is playing on, there is some sort of parental controls that you can have on, whether it be you're playing on a phone, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. There is some way to have parental controls on an account. I have it on my own personal Xbox account. Nobody can make a purchase on my Xbox profile without a PIN that I have set up already that's different from any other PIN I have in my own personal life. Why do I have that? Well, in case I'm not the one using my Xbox at that present moment, I don't want anybody to be able to make a purchase on my account without my permission. I want to be able to be the one that says, yeah, that's okay to purchase it. Let me input the pin. We're good to go. So that way on the off chance that somebody that isn't me is using the account, I don't have any hiccups where I get charged 250 bucks for an in-game purchase that I realistically didn't want. If I have that for myself and I am a 25-year-old man, why doesn't a parent of a 15-year-old kid do the same sort of thing. It really should fall onto the parents. And I feel like most parents should be able to figure this out. If not, you can just Google, how do I set up parental controls? Or how do I delete a credit card off an account? It really isn't that difficult. Any platform that you're on, there is some sort of parental control that you can have on. So you can have it so this kid can make a one-time purchase with your card and you can either delete the card right away or you can set it up so that, like in my scenario, you need a pin in order to verify that that purchase can be made 
and then it can be made. Because kids really don't understand the concept of money in, in, in the way that us adults do. They know that you go to work, they know that's how you make money, but they don't necessarily understand how much you make or the value that it actually has. So they want in-game items from Fortnite, and they might go, oh, I don't have enough V-Bucks, let me just use the credit card I have on file because that gives me more money. They might not understand that in a concept, and while I understand that, yeah, maybe inputting the card once, it could be annoying that you would have to delete it or then set up parental controls, I don't think it should fall on Epic Games because realistically you should be able to parent your kid. You should be able to talk to your child, whatever the age, and if they can understand you go, hey, I'm going to put this thing on your account, but we're also not going to be able to just use it whenever we want. I'm going to have this thing. If you want to buy more V-Bucks, ask me first and I can input this code. That way you're actually able to, to get the V-Bucks that you want. If you're a parent, you should be parenting your kid. It is the same sort of thing with buying mature games or watching mature rated R movies. Realistically, it should fall onto the parent and not these companies to be informed about these things. If you're buying your kid GTA 5, the employee at GameStop should not have to go, yeah, no, this game, there's nudity, there's a lot of swearing, there's a lot of violence. That's clearly written on the box, and if you are buying the game, you should know what you're getting into. It shouldn't be after the fact that you bought this game for your child that you notice, oh crap, there's a lot of stuff that I don't want my kids seeing in this, now I'm going to raise a fuss about it. You should be able to have to parent your own child and figure it out yourself. So, while I, again, from a legal perspective, I 100% understand the outcome of this lawsuit, I still think in the real world it shouldn't fall on these companies to parent your kid for you. And once again, this is not a Fortnite exclusive problem. If you put your payment card on an Xbox profile, you can use that for any game. It just so happens that Fortnite is extremely popular with kids, therefore it's going to happen here more often. That's just my two cents on the opinion. What do you guys think about this lawsuit? Do you still play Fortnite? I literally downloaded it for the first time in like 200 days to make this video because I wanted to have some gameplay in the background. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, mates.